I built this Chrome extension just with the help of ChatGPT and trust me I really don't know how to create a Chrome extension without coding only just with the help of AI ChatGPT build this Chrome extension which can take the open AI API key and then once you open any pull request of your GitHub then you will find this kind of green button which is just to review your pull request you can review full pull request just by clicking there and it's streaming all the pull request details here and you will find the code quality edge cases performance security logical error and overall but if you want to have a code review for particular file here is the code changes for this file i'm going to hit on read review and boom you can see it's actually giving you every detail where you have to improve your code spelling mistake <laughs> code quality edge cases performance issue security concern logical error and everything is just for you you can obviously copy all these things and paste it to your friends even on the chat gpt to solve all these things on this amazing chrome extension i have built everything without coding so welcome to bitfumes i'm your host sarthak and this video is all about the chrome extension i have built using chat gpt only and here is the conversation i have created with the chat gpt see how huge this conversation is and chat gpt has created every code for me it has instructed me which file to create how to create where to put all the code it fixes the bug and everything is now available for you to test it out on this public repository called ai code reviewer on this bitfumes github repository so see you have all the setup to get started with this chrome extension you can use your open ai api key and if you think that you can contribute to this repository this chrome extension then obviously you are free to suggest some pull request and i'm going to use my own chrome extension to review your pull request on this chrome extension okay so let me show you how actually i have started building this chrome extension the only one thing you need to remember is do not give everything to the chat gpt at once get a step by a step process maybe you can just ask chat gpt hey give me a 20 step to build this kind of a project and then for each step you ask chat gpt what to do so what i started i have given the prompt that i want to create a chrome extension that can read the github pull request code changes i have not said that i want to review the code i just want to first see if i can create a chrome extension that can even just read the code i have on any pull request so next i said i want to write code to get started building this extension so then i said that i want to write code basically i don't want to write code i want chat gpt to write everything and finally this is the real key here let's do step by step i am saying that i want very slow progress i don't want every code to be written right here at once go step by step so what will be the first step first show me code to get started and then we will proceed this way chat gpt has a clear idea what to do and where to stop the first conversation if you are not giving like this then it might get the code which has lots of bugs and you will not be able to create any kind of software so first it says if you want to get started with the chrome extension then you need to create manifest file background.js and content.js the good part of these step is chat gpt actually explaining you why these files are required so manifest.json is required about the metadata background.js handling the background task and content is to run the script context of the web page great now it has actually given the data for all the file or i can say the code i need to write on each of the file so here is the metadata here is the content and here is the background 
all these things are just to check if I am able to create a Chrome extension or not. Once I done with that, then I said, okay, that's good. I have loaded the extension, but when I click on the extension icon, I get this error. So see, every time you do something, even with very small step, I got the error. That's why you need to be very, very slow on the chat GPT. I given the problem that this is the problem and it suggested that you need to create a popup.html file. Okay, so why ChatGPT has not given me the popup.js previously? Okay, so that's the limitation with the AI. So that's why I said you need to go really slow. Next, I have this popup.html. I have created and updated the manifest.json. All these things are just given by the chat GPT, then I reloaded the Chrome extension and then I said that, hey, great, your extension is active. Proceed to the next step to read file changes from the current URL like this one. So now next step is very specific, very precise. Chat GPT will never going to have any problem, never get confused what to do. Once it get the data, it has given all the code I can write and I tested all the code and now I say out of seven lines, it missed the last one. Why? So it has fixed the issue and then you can see step by step I am moving. So it's still not getting all the file. I have PR with 20 file changes. I get only 11. So then it says, hey, you need to actually reload the page because sometime it actually have lazy loading on the GitHub. And all these things I get understood by ChatGPT created the code from copying like this and pasting on my file. Everything I did and slowly, slowly you can see I have created this Chrome extension in just three to four hour without even writing a single line of code myself. Okay. So that's really great and you have seen how it works. You have seen how I have created. Let me know in the comment section if you really want all these conversation, I can export it in a PDF file and share it with you. If you really want to have any other suggestion for this code review, AI code review, Chrome extension, create a issue, create a pull request that can enhance this, share this video, Share this Chrome extension with your friend so that pull request review will become very, very easy with the help of any AI tool you want. Okay, so let me know in the comment section what do you think about these kind of video. Do you want me to create more kind of products and share the journey with you? If yes, then just comment below and I'm going to share with you my journey. If you have any idea you want me to work on, obviously comment section is open for you. So if you like these kind of video, just hit subscribe button because this is the real thing we can do to promote these kind of videos so that it will be helpful to others. See you in the next video till then. Goodbye.